I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What? You don't know how to play Crazy Eights? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go. Hello. Today we are gonna talk about a card game called Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights has been around since the 1930s. It's played a lot of different ways, and there are also several other games based on it. I'll start by showing you the basic version, and then we'll take a look at some common variations. Okay, let's break it down. How to play Crazy Eights. Hey. First, we'll set it up. You can play Crazy Eights with two to five players. You don't need one of those fancy decks to play. This can be played with a regular 52 card deck. Randomly choose the first dealer. Then, for a two-player game, the dealer deals seven cards each. If there are more than two players, the dealer deals five cards each. The dealer puts the remaining deck in the center of the table, which becomes the stockpile. Take the top card from the stockpile and place it face up on the table. This forms the discard pile. If the card drawn for the discard pile is an eight, bury it somewhere into the center of the deck and choose a new card. For this example game, I'm going to show you all the cards. But when you play, hold your cards so no one can see them. But that's it. You did it. You're all set up to play Crazy Eights. Yep. 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 <laughs> now let's start playing. The goal is to get rid of all your cards. Players take turns in a clockwise rotation. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. On their turn, a player may discard one card into the center discard pile. But to do so, the card must match either the rank or the suit of the top card in the discard pile. Eights are wild cards, and you can put them down on any card. Eights also enable you to choose the current suit. Let's show by example. There's a five of clubs in the center. The current player can put down a five of any suit or any card with clubs. In their hand, they have a six of clubs and a five of diamonds. They could put down either. Let's just say they play the five. Now it's the next person's turn, and they'll need to play any five or any card with diamonds. So here they play the nine of diamonds. Simple. The next player would need a nine of any suit or any diamonds. They don't have either, but they do have an eight. Since eights are wild cards, boom. When they play the eight, they also get to declare what suit the next player must play. It can be any suit they want, so here they say hearts. Now the next person has to play hearts or another eight. So they play this card, which has a heart, and then the next player matches the number. The last thing you need to know is that if a player is not willing or not able to put a card down, then they have to draw from the stockpile one at a time until they get a card that they can use. If you run out of cards in the stock, you just shuffle all but the top card of the discard pile and use that to refill the stock. And that's it for the basic game. Gameplay continues in a circle, and if you're the first person to run out of cards, then that means you've won a crazy eights. Congratulations! This basic version is fun on its own, and it's great for kids or anyone that just wants to play a simple game. If you'd like to hang around for a minute, I'll be talking about some of the ways that you can expand the game. Now it's time to talk about some of the optional rules out there. And right away, I have to tell you something pretty strange about this game. You are going to see a lot of conflicting rules out there about how this game is played. Come on, seriously. Move it. Move it. I'll explain why with a quote from game historian David Parlett. He wrote, Crazy Eights is not so much a game as a basic pattern of play on which a wide variety of changes can be wrung. Uh, so what he means is, for some reason, everybody plays this game a little different. That's cool. There are many optional rules. Don't be intimidated. You could just pick what you want. One of the most common I've seen is to add special actions when certain cards are played. For example, you could use the three face cards. I make the jack skip the next player. 
the queen switch direction of play, and the king make the next person draw two cards. Another common optional rule is to allow players to play doubles. For example, if you could legally put down a five of diamonds, and you have another five in your hand, then you can immediately put both down. I've also seen limits to the amount of cards that you can draw on your turn. So if you couldn't play a card, you only take up to three. Do you mind? Some people really get creative with adding uh, house rules. And if you add enough, eventually you make your own new game. Did you ever hear of Uno? Well, that was probably based on Crazy Eights. And so were a lot of other games, such as Crates, Last One, Switch, Last Card, Screw Your Neighbor, Bartok, Mao, Quango, Czar, and Taki, just to name a few. If all this sounds overwhelming, my advice is just to start with a basic game, then if you want, get into the spirit of what makes this game unique, and add some house rules or make your own house rule. Let me know in the comments what you decide. I'd love to know. Now you should know all about that game, how to set it up and how to play. If this video helped, let me know. Hit that like button. Now go have some fun. If you want to learn another, put your requests in the comments. Hit subscribe. There's more on the way.